All right, sorry about that. Um, meant to turn the volume down, but accidentally stopped my recording. So welcome to episode three. I'm Pluto the Planet. Uh, this is Nexus the Jupiter Incident. Stargate War Begins. Um, so let's get right back into the action. I'm actually, I'm sorry about this, but I'm going to turn the sound off. Um, it's just so insanely loud, and I don't want to have to deal with that. Wow, really? That did nothing. Is it the sounds then? Oh, so oops. I have to click. Click OK. Sorry. So, yep. Alright, so Apophis's ship is destroyed already. Let's set up some. Let's split up some of our fire. At all the different ships, we'll put you on abandoned. Don't know exactly what I've shot at yet. K I. All right, looking good to me. All right, I can't do this. I have to have the sound on. Which one is it? It's none of them, apparently. I'm doing it again. All right, let's do this. See none of them. That's so loud. I'm sorry, guys. You're just gonna have to deal with it. As I am going to have to deal with it. So I took the liberty while we were paused to reroute the power to um to the shields from the engines in the star struck. Let's go after a phantom. Take a little bit. Let's use the missiles on. Because I think. Oh. Hold on, guys. My furnace just turned on. I don't want to have to have you guys listen to that. I'll be right back. Alright. The damn thing just shut off. So let's get back into it. Doing some good damage to all of these. One of them just got taken out completely, so let's refocus this guy's weapons to dispel. Just, no, by read that wrong. Also, I realized while my furnace was off that it's not actually called Stargate Destiny; it's called Stargate Universe. Sorry about that. I've been saying that wrong this entire time. Didn't mean to. Uh, I correct myself now. Stargate Universe. They're trapped on the ship. That's why I was thinking. I don't know how, how good these missiles are doing. Let's send a warhead out. Right as it's destroyed. Alright. So there's the end of that wave. Let's see what we're up against now. I really want to fight a hive ship. I haven't fought a hive ship yet since I've begun playing. And it'd be so much fun. Some of my favorite ships. Alright, level 7. Ooh. Let's see. Three, sh three ships, that's all? Alright, well we got a replicator spider. These guys are cool. Replicators are awesome. I have to rewatch Stargate SG-1. Stargate Atlantis was just put on Hulu, or I just found it on Hulu. And um, I've been watching it. I'm on season 2 now. And it's so good. My favorite, favorite TV show ever. Um, are these guys going to come towards me? Or did I break it? can't tell let's send first of all let's transfer all these guys over and then we'll send um, the starstruck let's drastical energy rerouting yes please cancel it and we'll send you out here 
you will give everything you got at this Wraith Hive ship because it does not have shields. You'll probably die in the process, but hey, that's what's the fun of it. So it's going to take a little while to get out there. So I'm going to pause the recording and resume it when we're nice and close. All right, welcome back. Just fired off the warhead. Mark seven. Yeah. Just nuke the hell out of something. So let's see if it actually reaches it. Probably won't, but we're close enough. Um, that will start firing the real guns pretty soon. Yeah. No, that's one thing I hate about this. All right, these guys are moving now. The Wraith is actually running and putting in distance. That's no good. Alright, so we'll change targets. We'll target the traitor with everything we've got. Just give it a big old warm earth welcome. Let's see how long the star strike. Not doing too much, unfortunately. Also, we don't have to approach it. Unfortunately, that resets all the targeting. The railgun. Oh my god, it's so loud. But you can see the railgun was actually coming out of. You know, the railgun area. This guy may actually be able to defeat all of these guys. Quite possible. It's close enough that it may even be able to hit it with a nuke. I'm hoping it's able to. Uh, before the flash can run out. No, unfortunately not. This guy is holding up surprisingly well. Man, this is this is quite boring. I'm gonna send the Thunder Child over to help out. This guy moves very fast. I'll turn oh wait, hold on. I'll cancel that. Now you move over here. I'll give it full power of his engines too. It should be over here in no time. Throw everything we got at the death quake. Actually, you chase after the slaughter. You'll actually be able to catch it. Man, this guy's shields have been lasting a lot longer than I thought they would. Mark twos. I guess these aren't the most powerful of ships. I don't know why this round was so weak. I guess it's, yeah, I'd call this last round pretty weak overall. Let's turn that down so the support kind of regenerates. Then we'll set you chasing this guy. Launch some missiles at him and everything like that. And give you as much energy as you can have. Hopefully he doesn't run away too fast. Yeah, he's running away. Not catching up with him. Well, I am catching up with him, but very, very slowly. This is doing a little bit better. Drastical energy rerouting. Can't do it to engines, unfortunately. Um, can do it to weapons, but not going to do that. He's going to take a while to catch up. If he is even catching up. Seems like they're putting more distance to him. Alright, we'll launch fighters then. Have it that way. 
will have them target the flak cannons um, since we can't catch this guy god that is annoying alright we'll see I wanna look at this this guy's really cool I wish I could rotate the cannon the uh, sorry not the cannon the um did it fire already? Wow. I think it actually did fire. It would be using, I don't know, drones maybe. It definitely looks like it fired. Unless those are ships ahead of it. Yeah, I can't tell. But these guys are on their way. He's chasing them to God knows what distance. You, you just go back. It's not worth it. Why is their engine so fast? That is annoying as hell. Let's just look at this guy. Yeah, it must be the other fighters then. Man. But look at this. You can't... Oops. I just hit something. Oh, I selected them all. You can't quite see all of it, but that texture on such a small thing, this is so small compared to all the other ships, is absolutely insane. I... It must be an issue with the AI because it doesn't have shields. That's what I'm thinking is happening here. Because it doesn't have shields, it's running away, right? And that makes sense. I mean, if if you don't have shields and you're a normal ship, you're going to try and run away, of course. Hopefully this isn't quite the end of the series, because if I can't catch up to them, then there's nothing else I can do. Um, and that's, that's no fun. I don't want to chase them the entire game. The Asgard ship, which is the fastest, can't even catch up to them. So, can I? Now nah, it won't let me increase it anymore. But let's see. He's coming up into range. Let's see what kind of damage these guys can do. The ancient shuttle. The <laughs> XF301, which you can see there, and the F302 here. And they're, they're coming up pretty close now. Gonna be in range shortly, I bet. Ooh, taking some flak damage. I want them to attack. Actually, you know what? Just go weapons loose. Right? Yeah, no. Do target the flak cannons. Because if we can get rid of these flak cannons, then... That'll be good. I think they do target what you have them set to target. Which is nice. Um... One more head launch from there. Yes. Where is it flying? It may have a chance of hitting because it only has one flat cannon. It hasn't been able to hit any of my um, other things yet. But it did hit that. Let's see this guy. Don't know what is firing. Let's send the star star back to all these other ships. These guys are taking care of it. They're making good work. Eventually, you'll get taken out. They're, they're going after my ancient shuttle. That's not cool. Not cool at all, dude. Are you? What are you doing? Attack. Must have run out of it. Nope. Alright, well, 
That looks like it's gonna be the end of this guy. Um, it was a fun run. I'm gonna restart another one of these and have another and just continue the season. So, pause it. Continue the series, but instead do a different setup of this and start a new mission of this. So, I'll be right back with the new one, guys. Alright, we're back. And we've got a new set of everything. We've got some new ships. We've got the Aurora, which is a Daedalus class with beam weapons. We've got two O'Neill class, which are Asgards, but they have they're more powerful than the ones in the last season. The last um, installment of whatever this is. Um, so let's see what we got at first. We have one ship who is coming. What are they closer to? Closer to that. So we'll send these guys down here. Um, where's the mystery? Alright, who is actually closest? You're 44, you're 53, you're 58, you're 58. So we'll send all these guys, oop, no, not you. All of these guys down here to the hammer. The hammer we will set up. Luckily, this guy is useful because he has beam cannons. The normal version of this guy only has... Um, he only has missiles, which is not as much fun. So we'll just, we'll set them all to that. You should not have to have engines. So let's look at the O'Neill class ship. A very awesome ship. I think it's the, um, the last ship the Asgard's actually, the last class of ship the Asgard actually made very powerful these Asgard cannons I think they do a lot of damage in game um, but right now we are waiting for the other ship to get to us so I think I'm going to pause the recording on the hammer and where is this guy he is there Actually, no, he's he's coming pretty quickly, I, for, for sure, for sure. Um, he'll be here very shortly, so we'll just we'll just fight it out, see how a Prometheus class ship can do against a brand new replicator ship. The shields they are the first ship the shield there is. But thankfully, it is blocking all of their attacks. The Neo class is getting pretty close. Target all their weapons. The Neo class is very, very fast. Let's see what kind of damage this guy does. Does a decent amount of damage, actually. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Why are you no longer firing? You can fire at him. I think you're in range. You, when you are in range, you do that. Alright, well, doesn't even matter anymore, because we're all done. Um, I'm going to stop my recording session here. Um... So I'm going to save. Let's, well, actually, let's see what's on round two. Oh, yes. We've got a Wraith Hive ship. All right. Well, we got that to look forward to next time, guys. Um, I'm going to save this game. We'll save it on that. Yes. It's an older save. Um, and then we'll be back next time. Thank you all for watching, and good night.